Governor of California Gavin Newsom and Governor of Florida Ron DeSantis did a debate on Sean Hannity's show on Fox News, and it was wild. While I'm recording this segment super late after the debate took place, trying to get this out to you all very quickly, so apologies if I'm a little delirious at this hour. Um, I was watching the debate, trying to flag moments that I thought were interesting to show you all, then realized I had way too many. So I simplified it down to just the really notable ones for tonight that we'll discuss. Of course, you can go watch the full thing if you are interested. Maybe you already have. So the context is Sean Hannity and Gavin Newsom at one point were talking and said, what if we put together a debate between Newsom and DeSantis? And DeSantis said, he'd do it. So it took place on Fox News. It was coined as the red state versus blue state debate, mainly about California versus Florida. And Sean Handy was hosting, which was quite the brutal 2v1 debate with Handy DeSantis versus Gavin Newsom. And it was so obvious Handy would ask questions that he thought would be most advantageous to DeSantis, then aggressively moderate Newsom to protect DeSantis at these different moments, which was sort of aggravating to watch. But even so, Newsom produced some incredible moments. So that being said, what I was really interested in seeing was just what I said there. Could Gavin Newsom pierce through the noise and make some strong points to the Fox News audience, even with that tough environment with the Hannity moderator, DeSantis, Hannity trying to lob him softballs and all of that. And indeed, Newsom did it. He pierced through that noise. So I am being clear up front. This is going to be heavy on the <laughs> Gavin Newsom moments, even though I think probably for the Fox News audience, there were plenty of moments where DeSantis came off well to them. But I'll discuss that a little bit more later in the segment. Jumping into the first clip that we'll look at, it was hilarious to see Newsom multiple times bringing up the fact that DeSantis is getting crushed by Trump in the Republican primary and soon to be losing to Nikki Haley in the polls. Here's the first example, and you'll see before the moment I'm referring to, Newsom lays out his general points. And, and, and I want to answer that very directly. I'll tell you why I'm here. I'm, I'm here uh, to tell the truth about the Biden-Harris record and also compare and contrast Ron DeSantis's record and the Republican Party's record as a point of contrast that's as different as daylight and darkness. You want to bring us back to a pre-1960s world, America in reverse. Uh, you want to roll back hard-earned national rights on voting rights, on civil rights, on LGBTQ rights, on women's rights, not just access to abortion, but also access to contraception. You want to weaponize grievance. You are focusing on false separateness. You in particular, Ron, are on a banning binge, a cultural purge, intimidating and humiliating people you disagree with. You and President Trump are really trying to light democracy on fire. So, Sean, there are profound differences tonight, and I look forward to engaging them. But there's one thing in closing that we have in common is neither of us will be the nominee for our party in 2024. I mean, that's just funny. Come on. Um, and it wasn't really expected. He's kind of going through these accurate points and more serious DeSantis, Republicans, all this, and then slides it in at the end very nicely. Gotta love it. And then the messaging more generally, his ability to deliver those messages, just really incredible. I've said in the past, this point, even though I am actually confident that Biden will win in 2024, it is going to be exciting to see after his second term, hopefully, the next generation of democratic leaders because there are some strong voices in that group including gavin newsom just concise impactful in how he lays out these points then here's another example of newsom mocking desantis over losing in the republican primary just a reminder uh you know it, it, i think it's a question some people are probably asking i know nikki haley's campaign is asking when are you going to drop out and at least give nikki haley a shot to take down donald trump in this nomination she laid you out. Please. You're a walking hypocrite. You you what about, you're a walking you hypocrite what about on the issue of China. This is I'm the guy <laughs> that was looking for direct foreign trade from China, was doing trade shows, open up an office. That's already been That's debunked. You talk about true. the liberal... DeSantis came off so uncomfortable the whole time, especially when Newsom was talking. You wish. <laughs> you wish. I don't think it came off the way that he thought that it did. 
In another really strong Gavin Newsom moment, the topic of Bidenomics was brought up, Biden's economic record, that is. And it's something we've talked about in depth, especially in recent videos. It's a super strong economic record, no matter how often Fox News tries to say otherwise. And here's Newsom making that case to the Fox News audience. Please, Please time. let me just I, I, like do, I do have a follow-up follow hey, follow question. Ron, I'm happy that you continue to talk. Let's talk a little bit about Bidenomics, because I'm happy to take that on right now as well. And I think it's You're a fair a big point. You're a supporter of it. That's, I, I appreciate you acknowledging 14 that. 14 million jobs, 10 times more than the last three Republican presidents combined. Because he had 815,000 manufacturing the, the, the jobs. Because the jobs were because of the COVID lockdown. Are you kidding 3. me? 3.9% unemployment. As he continues to talk over me, I'll talk to the American people. 3.9% unemployment, the lowest black unemployment in American history, the lowest unemployment for Hispanics in America. American history, the lowest unemployment for women in 70 years, the lowest black poverty rates in history. That's this administration's agenda. And by the way, as you smile and smirk over there, you should know this, the American people. Here's a guy who celebrated Bidenomics just this week, celebrating $28 million that came into your state because of the Chips and Science Act, one of the most significant economic plans right. since FDR. I'm proud of the work Biden and Harris have done. Would you like to respond? And I mean, that's just brutal for DeSantis. Yikes. And you could tell at the beginning he was excited that Binomics was brought up. Oh, you're going to defend Binomics? And then Newsom just jumps right into all the facts that we've gone through in the past. The fact that the United States economic recovery after the pandemic was as strong as it was in part because of the actions of the Biden administration and Democrats. Yes, there was inflation. It was painful. But that was the worldwide aftermath of the pandemic caused economic conditions. And Biden's handling of the economy saw lower inflation than comparable economies. You just have to contend with, if you want to have an honest conversation about the subject, those facts. Then on top of the economic record, you have this incredible list of legislative victories, the Inflation Reduction Act, Infrastructure Law, PACT Act, Chips and Science Act, etc. Many of them mentioned by Gavin Newsom throughout the debate meaningful investments in areas where investments are absolutely needed. Meanwhile, DeSantis has been up to what? Campaigning for president and screaming about wokeness. This next moment is super interesting. The topic of the border was brought up, and this is one that Republicans think is a winner for them. That's why they're often bringing it up. But Newsom finally does what I've been wishing Democrats would do, which is to address it head on. Because no Democrats don't want an open border, as Republicans say. We want a secure border, a humane process, better investments in our immigration system, reforms to that system, etc. That's what is wanted and being proposed by Democrats. Republicans, they like screaming about problems, as we see, but often don't match that with bringing forward actual solutions. First from our own Border Patrol, are the American people being lied to? I don't think they're being lied to. The Biden administration put out a comprehensive plan day one when he got sworn into office three years ago. And the Republican Party didn't touch it. They haven't moved on it. They play politics with us. And I'll be honest with you, I think there's probably one person I wouldn't listen to on this topic more than the guy that I'm standing next to, Ron DeSantis. Your immigration policy can best be described as a governor from the state of Florida going into another state, the state of Texas, lying to migrants promising them jobs and housing, sending them to an island, Martha's Vineyard, and then sending them to a parking lot in Sacramento, California. I met with those migrants that you lied to under false pretense. That kind of gamesmanship, using human beings as pawns, I think is disqualifying. So again, a guy who stands here, who's been out on the Republican debate stage saying, well, he's going to be tough. He's going to shoot people with backpacks uh, and that he has a strategy to potentially even invade our second largest trading partner, uh, Mexico. By the way, do you see this that is, risk, Governor Newsom? Hold on. Hold Governor, on. I mean, do, you see, do you see the risk? Joe Biden put out not only a comprehensive plan, he consistently puts up plans. I hold understand. on. No, but Sean, is there, let me, is no, there no, a let risk? Me, I'm going to answer, answer your question. I, I support border security. I think the asylum system is broken. I believe that we need. I understand that. I, I'm the one. That, I'm the only guy here that's a border state governor. You're trolling folks and trying to find migrants to play political games, to try to get some news and attention so you can out Trump Trump. And by the way, how's that going for you, Ron? You're down 41 points in your own home state. 
On the issue of immigration, Joe Biden put- On issues like the border, homelessness, crime, Democrats need to stop ignoring those rhetorically. Address it head on. And so many Democrats actually have great stances on those issues and have policy records to show for it. But I guess they know that Republicans have those effectively branded and ready to go talking points. And so they avoid getting into those subjects. But the border, immigration, it has to be addressed. And we got to start making it clear the difference between elected Republicans and elected Democrats. It's not that one group wants a closed border and one group wants an open border. It's just nonsense. Biden's border policies, as we've talked about, have been super similar to that of the Trump administration, minus some inhumane aspects. The difference is that at least what I see as the correct democratic stance that many Democrats have is that the border should, of course, be properly maintained, secure, if that's a term you want to use, more logistically sound. And we need humane policies at the border. Plus, and this is what Republicans refuse to engage with in conversations, we have to be okay with more lawful immigration to the United States and make more investments in the system more broadly, the asylum system, invest in root causes when it comes to these certain countries where people are migrating from. That's the real difference. And just address that head on. Then you have this DeSantis first getting asked about Biden being in a state of cognitive decline and then Newsom answers in perfect fashion. And in other words, it's the toughest job in the world. Is Joe Biden experiencing this uh, cognitive decline? Is it a danger to the country? Do you find when he speaks, what is your reaction to it? Yes, he's in decline. Yes, it's a danger to the country. He has no business running for president. And, you know, Gavin Newsom agrees with that. He won't say that. But that's why he's running his shadow campaign. Uh, he should not be running. Uh, he is not up to the job. Uh, and it is dangerous for this country. Well, I'll take, I'll, I will take Joe Biden at 100 versus Ron DeSantis any day of the week at any age. In fact, all so of the you folks think, you think on the campaign You think he's up to the job? Scale. You think he's 100%? I've been spending 100%? plenty of time with Joe Biden in okay. private and public. Answer. You don't know. And by the way, results matter. Inflation now is down to 3.2%. Wages are up to 4.4%. The economy is booming. 5.2% GDP okay. growth in the last quarter. Those are facts you don't hear on Fox News. 14 million jobs, 10 times Let more than the last Let me move on. Three. That was the light. There we go. And then just one more moment to look at. This about sums up the debate. Off the streets. We've also invested in unprecedented resources in reforming our behavioral health system. Ron has literally the worst mental health system in America, forgive me, outside of, of Mississippi and Texas. And so with all due respect to being lectured on some of these topics, Ron DeSantis is not the all one right. I'm going to be well, listening 30 to. 30-second response. Mean, You're, uh, well, I'm looking at total time. Governor DeSantis yeah, look, about two minutes. This, 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 he this, needs it. This is a map of San Francisco. There's a lot of plots on that. You may be asking, what is that plotting? Well, this is an app where they plot the human feces that are found on the streets of San Francisco. And you see how- And I guess I'll leave that one as a no comment. So like I said earlier, there were definitely moments where a Fox News audience is gonna be happy with DeSantis' performance. But I do think as I just walked through, some truth was spoken by Newsom, he was able to get some of that through. And could that influence some of the Fox News viewers? No, is the answer. Hopefully, maybe. But at least, just for the sake of it, some truth was spoken. And it was really aggravating to see the way that they set up the debate, trying to pose every question in the most biased way to help DeSantis and hurt Newsom. There was one that was like, do you think a terrorist attack is more likely in the United States because the border's open? A lot's packed into that. And then, of course, lots of charged questions about people moving out of California because Newsom sucks. And Newsom pointed out that more people have moved from Florida to California than California to Florida in the last couple of years. But it is true that these population shifts are happening, such as some amount out of California. But the reasons for that are just so much more complicated and that would require a whole separate conversation that we've had before than Newsom's governor, that's why. Or everyone wants to go hang out with DeSantis in Florida because of his wonderful policies. And if you want to have a blue state, red state debate, I love having those. Let's do it. But you got to start by discussing not the metrics here and there where Florida is performing 
strong, which there are plenty, absolutely. Uh, but zoom out and say, okay, as a whole, Democratic versus Republican policies, what are we seeing nationwide across these different states? And as we've walked through so many times on the show, disproportionately, blue states perform better on education, infrastructure, crime, poverty, etc. So, like I said, a debate I love having. But again, I just snagged the moments I found most interesting. Feel free to check out the whole thing yourself. And I'm going to go to bed. But before that and before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It is a great way to support the work being done. And it is so free. Plus, follow me on threads at Luke Beasley Official, Instagram at Luke Beasley Official, X at Luke P. Beasley, and sign up for the Beasley Brief at LukeBeasleyShow.com slash brief, and become a member to get the daily bonus show at LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership, and I'll talk to you all very soon.